Hey, what's up everybody? This is your boy Kenny, and this is Empire Season 3, Episode 18, and the name of this episode is um, Toil and Trouble Part 2, and this is the season finale. Man, did they fucking deliver to, you know, man, did they fucking deliver. You know, this was a really good season finale. I was about to say last night, but actually I, I decided to do it the next day, but yes. I, I had to sleep on it for a minute because so much happened and I had to take it all in. But it was a really good episode. I mean, it was well scripted. Um, the acting was superb and the loose ends are fucking crazy. So let me begin. The episode opens up. We see that the Empire helicopter is, um, they're pretty much, you know, in Vegas. And, you know, um... We actually see well, the, the, um, the Empire helicopter lands and Juliana and Lisa get out. So Juliana is living the fucking high life, you know. You know, her pussy is golden and you can't tell her shit. I mean, literally, that's what's going on. Then, um, you know, Lucius get a, gets a call from Mama Walker. He done locked Mama's ass in the damn, cl in the damn um, bathroom and shit because of the fact that she killed Tyreek. And she's like, look, I did what was right. I killed your enemy. And Lucius is like, Mom, you need to chill. Like, you need to stop doing shit. Until you get back on your meds and get yourself, you know, calmed down, you're not getting out that fucking bathroom. And that's going to be the end of it. And then we actually see her um, say that, you know, it's unsanitary to leave that thing open like that. And then we actually go over there, and what she's talking about is Tariq's head. She got his head on ice in the damn tub and shit, and she just throws a fucking um, towel over top of it. I was like, damn, Mama Walker's a vicious bitch. <laughs> but I'm so here for it, though. Then we get a scene with Cookie and Jamal. You know, Cookie is in her feelings because Jamal had decided to, um, to open up at Leviticus Las Vegas and also decided to push his album back. So she's in her feelings about that. But then he says, I want you to be there for me. You know, I want you to, to, to be there to be support. She's like, good boy, you know I will support you, but I can't go. Because that bitch Juliana had me blackballed. So if um, I step on the premises, security would know exactly who I am and they'll escort me out. And Jamal's like, you know what? bump that, I'm gonna talk to dad, but at first he was kind of like letting her do, she was kind of going in about Juliana, and he's like, first of all, I have no deals with Juliana, and why are you letting Juliana have power over you, you cookie lying, you know, what's good, mom, I was like, all right, Jamal, I was feeling that, but then he said, look, I'll talk to dad, and, you know, I think Hakeem should come along too, because, you know, Hakeem has just been going through it, and Cookie's like, yeah, I know, but, you know, we're, we're going to have to see where, where his head's at because he hasn't been the same since she's been missing. I mean, like, yeah, part of his seed is not a part of the family. So, of course he's going to feel some kind of way. I mean, it shows you right there he's, he, he really loves his daughter. He's a true father. And I respect that. Next we next we get a scene with Anika and um, Hakeem. Hakeem is pissed off. You know, he's been causing public disturbance throughout the city, just going into places, fucking shit up, looking for Bella. Like, he says, I will turn this fucking city upside down until I find my daughter. And Anika is just so fucking calm, and it's kind of rubbing him the wrong way because she's too calm. And, you know, and pretty much, um, next you know, you know, in the midst of this, Anika gets a call from Mama Walker. She's like, hello, my soon ex to be daughter in law Um... I want you to, I wanted to know when you're going to come by to get the rest of your things. And also, you have some mail here. But if you want, I can open it for you. She's like, no, do not open my mail, old lady. I will be by to, keep the, um, to pick up everything. She's like, okay, see you when you get here. All right. <laughs> it's like Mama Walker been setting some shit up, and it just you just see that it's brewing. And um, then afterwards, you know, she has this, you know, this calm conversation with Hakeem telling him that, look, everything is going to be okay. I know Bella is all right. I know Bella is safe. I just have this gut feeling that she's okay, you know, but, you know, you need to calm down. You know, we're going to get, we're going to get her back eventually. We will. So, we saw that that's what happened with that scene. 
Then we get a scene with um, when um, with uh, Charlotte Frost, you know, who's played by Eva Longoria, and um, Juliana and Lucius. Um, they have a conversation, and pretty much Charlotte brings up September seventh, nineteen ninety six. You know, the night that Tupac was shot, and she said that her father was the gaming commissioner at that time. And, you know, when that whole big fight broke out at the MGM Grand, you know, with him and Suge Knight, her father lost her job. So she said, so I don't want that element in Vegas ever again. And she lets them know, if anything happens, I will have your asses out of here as fast as you can blink. As quicker than the ink will dry on your fucking contracts, I will, ha I will run your asses out of Vegas before I let that shit happen. So we already see she don't want that thug element. But it was kind of funny when, because Lucius clocked the shit out of her ass because when um, she was talking about September 7th, 1996, and and then all of a sudden, um, she was like, the, and then like, uh, she was like the, 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 um, the day that Tupac was shot. It's like, wow, she really knows her history. She's like, oh no. And then Lucy was like, oh no, she knows her hip-hop history. I was like, yeah, call her, call her liberal racist ass out with that shit. I was, so, I was so here for that. That was cool. So, and pretty much after she walked off, um, yeah, Juliana was like, she told you. <laughs> and Lucy was like, yeah, she told you, fuck her. Like, and they just kind of went on about their business. Like, we ain't worried about her ass. Next, we have a scene with, um, with Shine and Andre. Now, you remember, they are part of, you know, Cookie's, you know, plan to kind of create, you know, Biggie and Biggie and Pac times 10, you know, up in Leviticus, you know, to, to pretty much, to, to pretty much take down Juliana. Um, but then, while they're having this conversation, you know, Andre opens up like, look, you know, Cookie, Cookie means well, but at the end of the day, you know, my mother is always going to fall for Lucius no matter what. She's always going to choose Lucius. No matter how bad or how fucked up he treats her, she's always going to choose Lucius. So we know that about mom. But, you know, my mission, our mission is to go along with mama's plan. But me and you are going to take shit over afterwards, you know. And he says that, and, then, and he said the, the main thing is making sure that Lucius is fucking dead. So Shana's like, okay, I'm with this, but damn, you know, what the hell did your father ever do to you? Like, why do you hate your father so much? And he says, he's done everything to me, and I'm the one who really knows who he truly is. That's why I have to kill him. And then he's like, okay, so here we go. He opens up the truck. Is this dude named Franco pretty much who um, pretty much has this... Um, who pretty much has this, like, you know, this bomb that is, like, pretty much technology, that's pretty, like, you know, it's really, like, te technologically advanced, that all you have to do is just press a finger, and it'll just, he can, he can blow it up anywhere, you know, all you have to do is make the call, he'll blow the shit up, and he don't even have to be in Vegas when it happens, that's how high-tech this damn bomb is, and they were like, yeah, boom, I'm like, so they planning on blowing Lucius ass up. Um, next we have a scene with, um, Hakeem, Lucius, and Cookie, you know, Hakeem is saying that he's not going to Vegas, you know, he is not going to do anything until he finds Bella, and that, you know, without her, he's incomplete, so he's like, I can't, he's just not there, and, but then he was saying, but then him and Lucius started having a conversation, and he was like, um, you know, you said you was going to find her, he says, hey, look, I almost had her, but then I lost we pretty much lost contact, but the Cookie, him and Cookie know what really happened about Mama, you know, stabbing up Tyreek, so Cookie knows about it, but they're not telling Hakeem about that shit, but then, next, you know, Hakeem was like, man, I just know something is up, and like, you know, Grandma's been, I've been talking to Grandma, and Grandma's been telling me some stuff, and then Lucia's like, look, don't listen to your crazy-ass grandmother, okay, she is not to be fucking trusted, and... <laughs> And but then he said that, but the thing, funny thing about it is that Anika was so damn calm, I can't understand that. And then Cookie explains to him that we have to be calm in situations as women. You know, we have to be calm, you know, because, one, we have children to protect, and we also have to be there for the men. So we have to keep ourselves calm, you know, throughout everything. Even though we want to go off crazy like you, 
we, we as women, we're just calm. That's just how we are as females. And Lucius was like, listen to your mother. She's a really smart woman. You know, you need to listen to her more. And I was just like, we can definitely still see that that Lucius and Cookie's chemistry is still there. Next, we get the scene where Anika finally goes to get, get her stuff. And Mama is just kind of rubbing in her face like, oh, yes, I'm glad you're leaving. You know, I've been dancing around in my shinnies for days. I'm like, if you don't sit your old ass down with your crazy ass. <laughs> and then the nigga's like, shit, I'm happy to be out of here, too. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, I, I actually now can live now that I no longer live in this house. And all of a sudden, um, but then Mama brings her her mail. She's like, I have your mail. And she's like, you know, won't you open up the real big one? You know, I think that's your, um, that's pretty much your, um, your, your, I think like your divorce has, has been finalized. So you might want to open that. So she's about to open it up with a hand. She's like, oh no, use the letter opener. I wouldn't want you to cut that big check you got inside. And I'm like, okay, you messy bitch. You going to get her to use the motherfucking letter opener and you going to find a way that you say that that shit was the murder weapon when we know the, the real murder weapon was an ice pick. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, it wasn't no damn letter opener. But she's like, yeah, use that to open it up. And then we pretty much says, and, and then pretty much she kind of like walks away. It's like, oh yeah, but, um, had your stuff out of here, you know, you know, the, the sooner the better, you know, so now, now, we, now I'm finally rid of you. And then she kind of walks off and then Nick was like, bitch. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, that's crazy. Next we get a scene where Julie, where Charlotte, Charlotte Frost is talking to the press about, about the new um, Leviticus Club coming to Vegas and saying that it's going to be very, you know, family friendly and, you know, and, and you know, it's not going to have a thug element and all that. So she's pretty much selling, you know, Leviticus, um, the new Leviticus, um, you know, spot, you know, to the public. And we actually see that she's there with her husband. Her husband's name is Nip. And then Andre shows up, and she's like, Andre, um, I can't believe that, she's like, what are you doing? She's like, well, hey, you know, you know how it is, you know, when I do business, I like to stay on top of it. And I was like, Andre, shut the fuck up, you crazy motherfucker. <laughs> I was so here for that, because it was like the damn undertone of it all, like, yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't act like I got you. And she's like, I got your number, bitch. And he meets her husband. And he was saying that, oh, you know, we're, we're about to go because um, we have this, like, um, function with our with one of our children. And she's like, okay. And, they, and she's like, okay. But, she, but, um, but, she, but, he, but he was like, I was trying to catch you at the office, but you weren't there. She's like, okay, but I will be at my office later and we'll definitely have another meeting. So I was like, Charlotte, you fucking thought box. I was like, okay, I see where this shit's going. And you can definitely tell, like, Andre's kind of putting it out there like, yeah, bitch. You know, I'm definitely laying it down better than your man. So come over here, cause you, cause you know you're still thinking about this shit. And I was just like, whoa, this, this and what happens later is crazy. But I'm gonna get to it. Um, next, we actually go back to um, go back to Empire in New York. Um, Juliana is in the boardroom filling out all of this paperwork or whatever. And she has a whole team in there working with her. Cookie is there with her people, and she kind of notices that. And, you know, Lucius is in the room with Juliana, you know, helping with the paperwork, but then he gets up, and but then he sees Cookie, and he goes out there to talk to Cookie. And he pretty much says that, look, I got that whole black ball thing lifted. You know, you're invited, you know, to the club in Vegas. You know, we're going to actually have a VIP section set up, you know, especially for you. But she said that you're just there to, to actually attend the show. You're not there to get in the middle of nothing because you know how you get. It's like, so don't be going backstage and all that shit. Just stay there and watch the show. And, but he, but he says that, yeah, I got you covered. And she's like, and then he's saying that, look, Cookie, I need you to understand right now that is what I'm trying to do. You know, I know you feel some kind of way right now, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to build a global empire. She's like, oh, yeah? So I wonder who's going to sit on the throne with you. And she's like, get out of my face, Lucius, because she's already saying that, you know, she feels that Juliana, that he's going to side with Juliana. But little does she know, is, you know, the actual papers that Juliana is signing. And we're going to get to that. 
Next, we actually see that Jamal is having like an open mic thing at um, Leviticus. He's there with Becky, and Becky's like, look, you need to find you a different kind of guy. You need to get you like a businessman, like a doctor or a lawyer. No more men in the business. No more producers or rappers or singers or none of that. And Jamal's like, man, I ain't worried about no dudes right now. And she's like, well, hey, does it mean I got a shot? He's like, no, bitch. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. But then we actually... Um, we actually get to meet the first contestant on the open mic, and it's this guy named Warren. Warren pretty much is a lawyer, but he does have a passion, and then we instantly see him and Jamal lock eyes. And he's like, wow, if I'd known I was going to put more, I, I was actually going to sing Born to Love You, but if I mean, if I know I was going to be performing in front of the great Jamal Lyons, I would have performed something else. I mean... I mean, it's kind of hard to share art when you're standing right in front of a Michelangelo. And I'm like, ooh, you better fucking slay that shit, bitch. <laughs> I was like, okay. And Jamal was like, you know, it's all good, man. Do your thing. And old boy started to sing his ass off. And for those who don't know who that is, that's Terrell Carter. He was in a lot of um, Tyler Perry's early plays, like um, Medea's Class Reunion, Meet the Browns, um, Was Done in the Dark. Um, he also played the um, the pastor in the movie version of um, of Diary of a Mad Black Woman, you know, and he was also part of a scandal where his um, former boyfriend outed him on social media. But it's great to see him back because this guy is a phenomenal talent and he can sing his motherfucking ass off. And he sung the shit out of him like, hell, he damn near sound better than fucking Jesse. I was like, oh. Okay, I'm like, I see you, boy. And he sung the shit out of it, and Jamal was just in heaven. Like, Jamal was like, ooh. Like, you done stir Jamal's grits. Jamal don't know what to do with his damn self. And I was like, oh shit. That was, that was a really good scene. Then we did a scene with, um, with, uh, we actually realized Anika knew where Bella was the whole fucking time. And she went to go get Bella, and Hakeem ended up following her there. So Hakeem brushes up in that shit. He mad as hell. He's like, "Where the hell is my daughter? Where is she?" And he and and and, and like and then like Anita's like, "Hakeem, what the hell? Like, what are you doing?" He's like, "I followed you here. My grandmother told me not to trust your ass. She told me you was snaky." And then Angela comes up like, "Calm down, son." He's like, "Nigga, I ain't your son. I'm glad my mother didn't marry your ass." And then all of a sudden, you see Angela all. I'm like, you're still in your feelings about that shit. Like, poor Angelo. And then all of a sudden, you know, he pretty much confronts Diane. It's like, where's my daughter? And she's like, and then like, the, and because at first we saw that she was going to bring the baby out there. But as soon as our team came in there, she sent the baby back. And she's like, and she's like, what do you mean? You know, she's safe, obviously. And she's like, where is she? And, he, and she's like, she's okay. She's safe. She's home. She's like, look. I've been going through everything trying to find my daughter. Like, I just want to see my daughter. I just want to hold her. You know, I'll do anything. And immediately, Diana's like, okay. He said he'll do anything, so. Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding. And then the damn lady comes back out with Bella. And he, she's like, okay, this is what the deal is. You know, we're going to act like what what happened didn't happen, you know, so the whole child protective services, all of that whole situation, us being involved, that gets out the window. Your family may not know anything about us being involved in any of this. That is completely swiped out. You just say you found her, she's safe, everything is good, and then you'll wait to, to tell, and then you'll sit back and you'll wait until I'll tell you what to do next. So it's like, damn. She done got fucking Hakeem's ass. So now we are seeing that the that the that the Dubois are beginning to infiltrate into the Lion family. And we're gonna see even more how they're gonna infiltrate into the Lion family. But now they, but one thing for sure, they now got Hakeem. And they're gonna use Hakeem to whatever advantage they can. Next, we actually get a scene. It's about, it's about you know, it's, it, you know, it's Las Vegas. You know, Leviticus is about to open up, and then we see that Charlotte and Andre are getting it on in the motherfucking office. You know, and they are just 
really about to turn it in, and I'm just like, oh, yes. There's something about you that just makes me crazy. Like, girl, you don't know how you do to me. Like, girl, you're so good. You know, I had to videotape us the last time, and she was like, what? You videotaped it? She's like, yeah. And I just love the way you take off my belt. But just to let you know, huh, I wonder what the hell, how the whole world will see it. How the way you really think about black people. And she slapped the, she slapped the dog shit out of Andre's ass. John was like, ooh, I like that shit. Ooh, come, come with it again. Like, what's up, baby? But she said that, um, oh yeah, and I think, um, Nip is dumb or whatever it is he was doing. So you need to kind of go back to your little life. But I got your number, bitch. So he straight played the shit out of fucking Charlotte. So now, he got her in his back pocket, like, bitch, I will fucking ruin your whole damn life. One, you fucking are this liberal racist, but you like black dick behind closed doors. And, you know, I got you on video being a little dick-hungry spot. So, I got your ass, and I was like, ah, shit, this shit is crazy. But I was so here for that shit, because, yeah, you know, he gave a liberal, he, he gave a liberal racist... A taste of her own fucking medicine. So, it is what it is. Next, we get a scene with Cookie's... Cookie is, again, in typical Cookie fashion. You know, she's pretty much going backstage checking to make sure everything is done right. And while she's back there, she calls Shine and says, that, hey, look, you know, be on, be on, be ready when I, when I give you the call. Um... Because, you know, I'll do anything to protect my family, right? And he's like, yeah, I got you, Cookie. So, she hangs up. And then the next thing you know, they run into fucking Juliana and Alicia and, like, Cookie. I told your ass to stay in the VIP section. I told your ass don't be back here and shit. And he's like, and then Juliana's like, well, it seems to me that people don't know how to respect boundaries. And she's like, well, what boundaries are you trying to set? And she's like, you know what, um... Like, like we need to get rid of this um, security, and then, and then, like, Lucia's like, yeah, I, I, I got it, you know, security, and she's, and, C and Cookie's like, oh, nigga, I will fuck those niggas up if they put their hands on me. You, you gotta be out your motherfucking mind. She's like, Cookie, I have told you time and time again to fucking listen to me when I'm talking to you and stop thinking you know every damn thing and start saying that. Look, I am building a global empire. And the person who's gonna, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want, I want to share this global empire with a woman who is the love of my life, and that's you, Cookie. So, with that being said, Juliana, your ass can kick rocks. And I was like, oh shit, damn! I was like, and she was just like, excuse me. She's like, you heard me. Get the fuck out of here. She's like, oh, excuse, oh, like, oh, I thought you loved me. She's like, no, I did, but then you stole ten million dollars from me. So he's like, bitch, I ain't forget that shit. Like, no, nah, I just played your motherfucking ass the same way you played me. He just fucking returned the favor, and she's like, uh, -huh, you can't get rid of me. I'm part owner of this. She's like, you don't own shit, bitch. When you was filling out those papers back in New York. I am entitled to everything. You signed off on every fucking right you had to this shit. This is all fucking me. So, security is escorting this um, Juliana out of here. And she's like, well, I would tell you to watch your back, but I think you already know that. And Cookie's like, yeah, and you also know that your ass about to get thrown out. So, bye, bitch. I was <laughs> like, oh, shit. That was everything because I was like, Wow. I was wondering how he was, what was going to happen with this, because it was just like he was just so team Juliana to the point that it was unbelievable. And I'm thinking, I was thinking in my head, Lucia's got a fucking plan. I just didn't know exactly what that plan was. But yeah, that shit was everything. So we see that it's actually a performance, that the actual performance... Um, that Jamal does is when Cookie meets Lucius, and that Jamal knew about it for two weeks, and he didn't tell Cookie, so pretty much it was a surprise for Cookie. That was the opening, you know, for for um, Leviticus Las Vegas, and it was a damn good show. Even um, Lucius, even um, Lucius performed, and Lucius' song was, and both songs were awesome. I mean, Jamal's song "Mama" was the shit, and then Lucius' song was was great as well, and. Um, we also see that before everything starts, Cookie calls Shine and tells and calls it off. Like, no, I'm calling it off. You know, you know, go outside, get your men out of, get your boys out of here. You know, it's a no go. It's all cool. So 
we actually see that so Luso shines this because he ready to do some damage because you know he a fucking high head from the fuck from from fucking Philly, you know. So that nigga Guani is shit, and he's good to the he's good to the motherfucking to the to the capital H. So he ready to get some shit started. Once you once you get that nigga in that in that zone, you can't take him out of it. So he mad and he ends up leaving. They do a great performance. You know, Hakeem was about to before Lucius was about to go perform. He was about to tell him the good news. But then he finally, you know, lets them know eventually. But well, but back in New York, we find some other shit out. We actually find out that old boy Warren that performed at open mic in front of Jamal, who got Jamal all wet in his sack. We come to find out that this motherfucker is a Dubois. And not only that, he, that, that pretty much Angelo is not the only child of Diane. She has twins. Warren is one of them, and he has a twin sister. So she got three fucking kids, and the whole time we thought Angelo was the only child. So we actually see that, you know, we're going to, like, this is another way we're going to infiltrate into the Lion family. We're going to enter through sex. And then, you know, Warren's like, oh, yes, you know, I performed that other night in Leviticus, and Jamal thinks I'm gorgeous. I'm like, you conniving little bitch! As soon as I was liking your ass, I come to find out, nigga, you the enemy. And then Angela kind of threw some shade like, yeah, knowing Jamal, this is going to be really quick. And I was like, you bitch! And then she's like, oh, son, you don't have to, you don't have to, um... You don't have to be so, uh, I forgot the word she said, but she was, but she kind of was like, you know, you don't have to be, you don't have, you don't have to be so, you don't have to be so, um, so messy, bitch. Like, chill the fuck out. I know you butt her because you got played by cooking, but you're like, but damn, nigga, really? Because it's like, dude, you and Jamal was cool, and you just pretty much said that Jamal's a hoe. So, you can easily, you know, fuck this dude over. So, it is what it is. But I was like, man, that shit's crazy. So then we actually see that Anika is at this damn penthouse suite. She's sipping champagne and eating some food. She actually calls to ask if she, she get some damn hot sauce to go with her shit. Um, we actually see she gets a call from Mama. And, you know, and Mama's like, oh, um, my soon-to-be ex-daughter-in-law, um, you got some more mail. Um, what do you want me to do? She's like, yeah. She gives her the address to the hotel. And she says, and send it to the penthouse suite, darling. She's like, I'll be more than happy to. And we see that... They, she fucking got a nigga's print on that letter opener, and she pretty much did that shit into Rick's blood. So now we see that she's about to get framed. And then next thing you know, she gets a knock on the door, and it's the fucking feds. And they said, you're under, the, you're, you're under arrest for the murder of Tariq Cousins. And then as soon as that happened, we see that the lady come up with the hot sauce. I'm like, damn, Anika. And she was about to enjoy the damn high life, sipping champagne in her penthouse suite, doing her thing. And now her ass about to go to jail for killing Tyreek. <laughs> and she and she's just about to get her damn hot sauce. I'm like, that's some crazy shit. Then we actually get a scene where um, Cookie runs into Barry, you know, her love, her childhood, you know, boyfriend. And he's there with his wife, Michelle, and they have a conversation. And Barry pretty much is sharing how much he loves Michelle and that, you know, they are, they're, they're just going to travel the world together. You know, they were both doctors, and now they've retired, and now their daughter is now running the practice. So they're going to live their lives. And then Cookie, again, Cookie and Lucy's idea, like, look, we need to kind of do what they're doing to me because you can see they're really in love, and they're enjoying each other. And then we was thinking that they was gonna bring up the past, and, Lucy, and like Barry was like, "Man, we were kids back then. It is what it is, you know. You know, everything's meant to be. You know, we. I, I found the love of my life, and you know, I want to spend the rest of my life. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life enjoying her. So, and then like you see that they walk up, it's like, see, I told you they're good people, like, because you know, Michelle was actually a fan of um of Lucius, so I thought that was pretty cool. So they said, well, let's travel the world, and then they have the family meeting. And they give fucking, because uh, Andre is already hyped up because, you know, they got the whole thing set up, so it's ready to go. And at that moment, it changed everything because he fucking gives Andre the keys to the empire. Because they pretty much say that, look, um, Hakeem and Jamal are artists, and they are going to be big artists even more so down the line. And we need, some, we need someone that's going to help guide their careers and actually make sure that they are well represented. 
So we're giving you, Andre, the keys to the empire. You know, you are the man for the job because me and Cookie have decided that we're going to step down and we're going to travel the world and enjoy and enjoy our lives and let you guys run the company and let you run the company. And he's like, but you told me I was a liability. He said that was because I was afraid of you. Because you suffer from the same um, disease as my mother. And I I pretty much, you know, noticed what she went through growing up and all that shit. I was afraid of you. and But he said that but you've proven that regardless of the fact that you suffer from this illness, you are fucking intelligent, you are bright, and you are a beast. And Cookie's like, yeah, this whole Vegas thing, this is you, bruh. This is you. This would not have been possible if it wasn't for you. So, yeah, you are the man for the job, and we should have chosen you sooner. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, if only y'all motherfuckers would have waited, everything would have been good. So now, Andre tries to call off Shine. Shine's mad as shit because, like, Shine is, like, ready to blow some heads off. You know, you know how niggas are in the hood. Like, you know, you got some cycle, you got some, you know, you got some niggas like that that are so, you know, that are so um, sociopathic that they, when you when they amp, they ready to go. And you ain't calling off shit. It's about to go down. So he's like, nigga, we ain't calling off nothing. Shit's about to go down. And then we see that Cookie and Lucy's about to get into the car. Andre runs, Mom, Dad, get away from the car. And then next thing you know, we see that he pushes Cookie, the damn car explodes, and we see that some of it affects Lucy's because Lucy's is passed out after it's all over. Then we go three months later, we see that Demi Moore is now a part of the cast, and she's playing the doctor. But we can tell the way that she's examining, it's like, it's kind of like borderline, like, sexual abuse in a way. Like, she's, Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. And, like, Cookie's not having that shit. She's like, look, yo, this bitch need to get, you know, like, I don't know what the fuck she's doing, but, you know, she, 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 she getting a little too damn close and getting a little too fucking friendly. Like, yeah, she's supposed to be the best fucking damn doctor. Why the fuck his ass ain't been out of it for three months and his ass ain't even woke up from his coma yet? And then all of a sudden he woke up from his coma and damn Lucius has amnesia. So I'm like, damn. But yeah, I try to get this out as fast as I can, but if I missed out anything, leave it down in the comments. I'd love to talk to you about it. But yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you can get notifications every time I draw, um, I drop a video. Like this video, comment on this video, and share this video. And I will be back with the Season 4 premiere of Empire. So until then, everybody, take care.